Hey, what's up, guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to another video. Been a while. Um, today, we're going to be taking a look at a save game that I have set up here on Forest River, North Dakota. Um, I'll start off by saying this map is by OS Farms Modding and Mapping. Uh, it's currently out to his Patreon uh, only for testing. But uh, once it has been completed and passed all the testing, uh, it will go out to the public. So just going to put that out to you guys right away. Um, so that's, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm not going to do a series on this save game, but um, in couple of my lives um, people were wanting to see the whole farm and everything and I thought that I would just I showed it some in the live streams but I've made a few changes and some stuff has just changed in general around the farm so I thought that I would just make a video showing everything that we got set up here so first off here is our house uh, in the garage here, we've got OS Farms' uh, 07 to 13 66 Duramax mod. Uh, we got the John Deere side by side in here. If we come out around the back side, we've got our two tanks for road fuel for all the semis and the pickups. Uh, we got a fifth wheel camper sitting out here. Uh, this is basically just here for the realism feel I mean you gotta have some toys on the farm for the downtime uh, if you get it then we got the Challenger Swather um, and 16 foot razor bar we just finished first cutting of hay so we kind of got everything just chilling here uh, until second cutting we've got two John Deere 7430s both of them the exact same both set up with loaders uh, one of them is hooked up here to our Frontier V-Rake. And the other one here has our 560M round baler on it. And then we got our Anderson RBM 2000 uh, bale trailer for it. And then we got one of our two uh, S76 series Bobcats. Uh, this is sitting here with our net wrap. Uh, so that way it's easy to just pull up to it and load up uh, this shed here we've got let's see if we can get this, some lights on in here that's one row there we go uh, so here's our other bobcat and other pallet forks uh, this is our row of chemical shuttles uh, these two here are partials uh, left over from what we used this spring and then this is just extra and then we got three more crates of net wrap and then we got eight barrels of oil because uh, I am running the Motorex uh, oil add-on and then we got two more pallets of uh, soluble fertilizer sitting here uh, also just extra from the spring turn the lights off and then if we pop into the other building here's kind of our trailer storage so we got the Yamaha jet boat in the back again just for the realism and then we got our 40 foot PJ flatbed uh, and then we got our PJ tilt deck car trailer with drive over ramps or fenders I mean and then our load trail car trailer. And then we'll come over to this building here first. This is our main machinery shed. So we got our R4045 uh, sprayer, our Vector 430 uh, dry spreader. We got the John Deere S680. Uh, we got another 7430. This one's mainly for augers and then 
like wintertime equipment. Uh, and then we got the 9630 with the 1401 J&M grain cart. This is another OS Farms uh, mod. And then this one I just found uh, by Cunningham Modding. It's the Timpty uh, Super Cube. What's cool about this trailer, as you can see, we got some icons there. Uh, if you have this and the interactive control mod, you can actually open and close the traps. Uh, you can do front and back. And if you come up here to the front keypad, you can open and close the tarp. So that's really neat. Uh, I really like this trailer. I haven't used it yet. I actually just found it. Uh, and then we got two Pete 379 flat tops. Uh, identical trucks, just one blue and one black. And then we got our 8R 370 with our Kinsey 3660 uh, planner. Challenger MT 845E hooked to our Salford. Uh, what is this? 2141. Uh, OS Farms is working on a Salford pack. This is not it. I found this one just Googling. Um, this is a conversion from 19. I'm just going to use this one until his is done and gets put out. Um, then if we come over to this building, we got two more hopper trailers. Uh, they're both Wilson 50-foot uh, triple axles. Uh, they'll get pulled with these two 389s uh, during like corn harvest or if we end up with that good of a wheat harvest that we need them. But uh, these are mainly going to be for corn. Uh, during wheat, if it's good enough, we'll pull out these two Mack straight trucks. Uh, but these are mainly for seed and fertilizer for our air seeder in the spring. But we will use them during harvest if needed. But uh, those two Timpty trailers will be our main trailers. Uh, these two trucks here are hooked to uh, the new fiber trailers by BC Bueller. This one obviously has the sprayer deck. Um, both of these I bought the pre-assembled versions and then on both of them I changed out this front tank and I bought the 4,000 gallon tanks. Um, you can see this one's still got fertilizer on it. Uh, this is for our top dresser. Um, this one's just kind of backed in here until needed. Um, and then we got the 2018 uh, six seven power stroke set up with dually and flatbed um, on our JM speed tender. We got our polar uh, tanker trailer. We got this for refilling our water tanks in the yard or filling our fuel islands, def tank, whatever. Uh, I did edit this trailer to be able to hold uh, diesel and def. Uh, if you download the one that's out there, it holds water, liquid fertilizer, and herbicide. Uh, we got another OS Farms mod, uh, the Timpty conveyor trailer for filling our vector spreader. That's hooked up to our Kenworth T800. Uh, the truck is set up as a triple axle, as is both of the 389s there. And then if we come over here, uh, this is where all the hay equipment gets stored. Uh, basically, I guess all the cattle equipment, I should say. Uh, we got our Vermeer uh, bale processor sitting outside because uh, it was sitting in front of the bale trailer. Uh, the only thing we got left in here is another Pete 389 uh, with the Roto Mix. Uh, feed mixer on it this is oh it's off patreon I don't remember who's exactly now offhand uh, and then we got two bale storage buildings 
uh, one for straw bales. This one we got some hay bales in it. We got 52 bales in here. Uh, we made 91 off of our first cutting of grass, and I'll show you the other bales. Uh, we got a John Deere bale spear, grapple bucket, and then we also have a pallet fork for the tractors, uh, just in case we need it. And then we got two uh, sets of four tanks full of water. We got the Meridian 990 right yeah 990 fuel trailer here's our fuel island for all of our farm fuel and our def tank uh, and then we got the rock and s fabrication uh, steel windbreak panels freestanding panels and then we got a uh, patriot creep feeder uh, pfeiffer loading chute and then we got the exus uh, stock trailer then we got some more stuff sitting over here we got a fire for uh i think it's fifert i don't remember if you guys know and i'm saying that wrong please let me know down below uh but we got a squeeze shoot and then we got another uh squeeze shoot this is rock and s uh fabrications squeeze shoot and then we also got this uh, loading chute, which I see I put too close to the building, but that's all right. Um, we don't have any cows yet, but uh, we will, and this is where all of our cows are going to go. Over here, we got our John Deere 7R 310 uh, with our Mandaco L6050 uh, land roller. And then if we come up in this shed here... We got another John Deere 8R370 with the N540 uh, 40 foot air seeder. Um, probably gonna look into trading this off uh, before next spring for the N560 uh, 60 foot air seeder. Uh, and then we'll probably have to trade this tractor off too. I don't know if she's gonna have enough ponies to pull a 60 foot. Uh, very nice drill by L LR Modding. Uh, just today, actually, he put out his 60 foot because uh, he just finished it. And perfect timing. Um, this drill is amazing, but definitely need bigger for the acreage that we're running. Uh, and then we got our 2020 um, 6 7 Power Stroke service truck sitting in here uh, and then we got a John Deere parts box in the back as well deer running by uh, and then around the corner we got our pressure washer and over here we got all of our skid steer attachments uh, we got a MDS snow pusher uh, dirt bucket snow bucket here's our trailer mover and then we also got a grapple bucket uh, I think I forgot to go back here we got another MDS snow pusher and a Pranavas snow blower so these will be run on the 7430 that's in that building during the winter and then we got the 700m loaders for all three of the 7430s and then we'll come over here uh, we got our Anderson Hybrid X bale wrapper. Uh, we got our commodity shed. And then we got the Hay Buster bale grinder. Um, so I messed up. I bought. I have two different 560M balers. And uh, I bought the wrong one to start with. So I baled all of my headlands with it. And then I realized it. So... Uh, here's, there's 39, uh, bales here. So these are going to be the first ones that we grind into the building here. Um, this is over here at mom and dad's house. So this is kind of where we're going to wrap all the bales. Uh, I'll put a couple loads of straw bales over here as well. And then 
as we grind whatever we have over here, we'll bring more bales over. But this is where we'll do all of the feed mixing. Uh, and then we got a Quonset up here as well. Uh, and this is where we have our three headers. We got the Capello uh, Sunflower Head, the 740 Flex Draper, and the 716C Corn Head. And then it is graveled all the way around to the front, so we can just pull the headers in one side and drive right out the other. And then if um, we go over to here, oops, well, close. Um, so over here is our bin site. So if we take a look, farms are right here. And then if we come over to the highway and come up, here's our bin site. Uh, so we'll start off. We got the OS Farms uh, Farm King uh, 1385. So this is a 13 inch auger, 85 foot. Uh, and then we got our backup slash extra auger. Uh, we got the AGI Westfield uh, 1394. It's not scaled correctly, but it is what it is. And then we got BC Bueller's uh, Soaring Eagle drive over. And then we got three Brant conveyors. And then we got a fuel barrel over here for the conveyors uh, or the tractor if it needs fuel while we're during harvest. Uh, and then we got a few foremost hopper bins and then a whole bunch of the Butler um, 24 foot five ring bins. Uh, these come with the map. They're done up by OS Farms. So these are really cool. You can turn on the unload auger. If you come around the back, you can turn on the fan. So we'll definitely be running the fans once we get some grain in them. Um, and then if we take a look here, so we got 38, 39, 59, 60, and 41 are our heart, our hay fields. Uh, we got 25, 26, 27, and 28 into soybeans. 43 is sunflowers. If we go up here, 13, 14, those are also sunflowers. Uh, 33, 35, and 63 are all wheat. 64 is sunflowers. Uh, 66, 67, 68, 69, and 73 are corn. And then if we come down here, we got our last couple of things. Uh, we got another 2020 body, uh, 67. Uh, this is our dually, kind of our nicer truck, uh, but is also kind of the main workhorse of the farm uh, with our Thunder Creek FST 990 uh, diesel and def trailer and then lastly we have the uh, 8R or no this is a 7R 290 with the 30 inch spaced duals with the Unverfirth Nutramax what is this? Uh, 2600. Uh, this was just put out on itch.io recently. I don't remember by who, uh, but our top dresser. Uh, you can run it with tracks, which is what we did, or you can also do, uh, I think it's also got the walking tandems. Um, so we're using that to top dress our corn and sunflowers. Uh, because our planter uh, does not have fertilizer on it. And if we take a quick peek here, so this has 424... Um, 
It's got 424 acres on it. Let's see here. I gotta go to the right place. Okay. Uh, 424 acres. And we had 553 on the air seeder. So in total, we are running about 980 acres. Uh, just shy of 980 acres. Um, so a little under 1,000 acres, which, I mean, in real life is nothing. But in farm sim, it's quite a decent amount of acreage. Uh, so... But yeah, um, that's going to do it for this video. Like I said, I think I mentioned it before, I do plan on doing a series on Forest River, but it is not going to be on this save game. Um, I'm going to do a save game. I haven't set it up yet, but I will set up a save game for a actual series. And uh, I do plan on doing a series here on Forest River. But I just set this one up when it came out uh, to kind of mess around on the map and whatnot. Um, so, yeah. But figured I'd show you guys around this save game and uh, let you guys check it out. So thanks everybody for watching and uh, we'll catch you all in the next video.